The World Bank and the IMF lend money to developing nations of the world, often with devastating consequences. Their policies force a lowering of environmental standards, cause destruction, pollution and enforce resettlement. In September 2000, the World Bank and International Monetary Fund met for the 55th time. With the world's media in town, campaigners made their message clear. This is uh, our friends. Uh, first, uh, this guy in yellow jacket is from Poland, and he's anarchist like us. Uh, this guy in the middle is from USA and is from Impact. And this guy uh, by by rights, he is from Poland also, but he is from the ecological organization like uh, First Earth, something right. like that. Big banner because it's uh, 12 meters by six. Do you know how long they are planning to stay there? Uh, first, they want to stay a couple days by really? the hammock. Really? Yes, but now uh, the police, they uh, uh, talk with police and they, the police uh, uh, give them the permission to 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 take this banner, but they. They must go out. You got anything to say, man? Are you okay? Are you alright? Not really. <laughs> Cool. But your action tomorrow will go as planned. You still plan to? Yeah, I mean, that, this is why we're doing what we're doing tomorrow. Because, because of treatment like this, because we're not allowed to speak, speak our, our minds around the world, because people around the world are denied democracy, denied freedom, uh, are in poverty, are, are in their health care, they have no health care. That's why we're speaking here. So, of course, we'll continue. Nothing will, nothing will stop us. Down. The 20,000 who travelled from all over the world had one aim, to bring the meeting to a halt. And if they can't divide us, then they'll send in the tanks. But we will stand together, pacifists and Zapatistas, workers, farmers, the indigenous, tree huggers and baristas, we'll shut them down. We'll shut them down. In a disused warehouse, artists spent days preparing for the demonstration. This is what we call the art space, right? And it's a kind of workshop we're organizing just to prepare materials and devices to somehow go with our protest, right? The protest we are preparing against the IMF and the World Bank. This is going to be um, a Czech, uh, a bug from Czech folklore, like a a, a bug that always knows best and, and, and knows everything can now be uh, a giant fat cat um, World Bank IMF um, bug instead. The idea is to make it a, a visual. There's so many languages, right? It's, it's got to be visual, it's got to be sound, it's got to be, you know, power and numbers. Just come at it from every angle. But it's also how I work individually uh, on my own anyways in, in my own hometown. I, I paint banners and comic style posters and I put them up in the city. It's my own individual activism, I guess. What we're going to do is try to march down to the conference centre from blockade and try and stop them from leaving. And we want to do this non-violently um, for many reasons. A, because if we were violent against the Czech police, they could be very, very, very violent back to us. Um, but B, I don't think it's, it's necessary or it's particularly helpful to use violence in this situation. And we get our point across much better if we show that 
our strength comes from the strength of numbers and the strength of people's feeling and, and the unity of our feeling against this. And we don't actually have to use violence. I think you have got a great idea to use pink color for this demonstration because it's very peaceful, you know, very nice and peaceful. And uh, living live music is also a very well idea, very good idea. I want to uh, look a bit uh, funny so police wouldn't come and kick me off. <laughs> As if you could trust that. Do you think it will work? I don't know. <laughs> but I hope so and uh, I want to uh, make people laugh when they see me. While the protesters were pretty in pink, the 11,000 officers drafted into Prague looked menacing in black. Leaders, look out the window, take a chance to look out and notice there's loads and loads of people in the world who aren't just you and who have a lot to say about the decisions that you're making and have a listen for once to what we're saying. My message today is cancer the death. That's one of his messages today. <laughs> I want the World Bank IMF just to abolish all the investment in the projects that harm poor people, that harm the world, that damage and the environment. I also find it very inspiring how people have come from all over the world. Uh, we've got groups from all over Europe, but also America and South America, uh, which shows that this is an international problem. It isn't uh, limited to one country or to one group of people within a country. The IMF is to go, hey, hey. Oh, oh. The IMF is back to go! Hey, hey. Oh, oh. The IMF is back to go! And it's a song we sing in, in England. And it's for you two. And it goes like this. No one's slave, I am no one's master. No one's slave, I am no one's master. On my grave, they will write this after I am gone. I will be gone! And then my flesh will go to the earth it lived on. Breath will go to the air it lived from. I am thrilled with the shame of my life. I've had my fill of the cruelty and pride. Earn my keep in the land where the dying deserts grow. And now I know. One of the first things that I saw on, on the TV which made me get involved in this kind of campaigning women looking a bit like we are today chained to a digger singing songs and I thought that stops the action it's very powerful and no one is intimidating anyone else and I want to be part of that because that would em that empowers me as well as making a change in my life and making a change in the world that we live in It's the only thing that is sure. You, when you are happy, you know that what you're doing is right. <laughs> While the happiness fairies brought joy to all, those not smiling were chased away. Conference. <laughs> What's the atmosphere inside the conference like? What do you think of the protests? Right. Do you have any comment on what's happening? Don't be such bastards. Think. You can buy a new planet. Discovering a weak point, activists attempted to reach the conference centre. Police responded with stun grenades, tear gas and water cannons.
Tampa here. With security crumbling, reinforcements were drafted in. Again, get immediately to the hotel. It will not be safe for you. Please. Hey, hey, hey. Could you leave the places and get into the hotel or the PCC? I know that there are three groups of the demonstrants. The blue one, the yellow one and the red one. The yellow and the red one is there on the bridge and uh, the blue ones are here in the Lumirua street which is down here under the uh, PCC and they are fighting with the cops. Heavily armed riot police in armored vehicles blocked the main entrance. These Italian activists were the first to model a new range of suits designed to counteract police attacks. You know that the police will try to, to, to stop us. That's why we are protected with our body with this protection. But we don't have stones, we don't have sticks, we don't have bottles. And we don't want any offensive act against the police that is not altogether decided. We ask all the people that want to act differently to move back from this part of the march. The city is big and there is place for enough for everyone. We are inviting you all to be witnesses and to show to all the world what means the IMF and the World Bank. Tanks, police, weapons and injustice and to show to all the world that it's possible to rebel ourselves, everybody, to this policy in the world. Okay, Can everybody move this way? Thank you. <laughs> independent media needs to be here, mainly because mainstream media ignores most of what direct action is. Uh, well, I think the protesters are in a difficult position in one sense, which is that if you want to get your message across, into the mainstream printed press. It's probably not going to get in unless there's some sort of friction, some sort of flashpoint, because that's what news is about. You know? The media constantly concentrate on sensationalist uh, burning or uh, any fights with police, which are a very small part of any sort of protest. So we're here to give an alternative side of the story. Using the internet, media activists broadcast news of the events which the mainstream chose to ignore. Reports from the street. We're giving um, reports from uh, the conferences, uh, counter conferences, and summits that were held around the around Prague in the last few days. Outside, independent journalists were being harassed by police. We arrived at the independent media centre on Monday to find police checking passports. You must have a reason. You cannot just stop someone. From our understanding. It was illegal under Czech law for them just to randomly stop people and ask to see their passports. They had to have a reason. Okay, let's do the passport. You have a reason? Why are you asking me for my passport? Why are you asking me? What is the reason? What is the justification? And it got to the stage where we thought it was probably a good idea to hand over our passports, even though we considered we were in the right. Why do you want to hold it? You can see it. See, it's me. Hello. As was the case on many other occasions, what our rights were on paper was a completely different story to what was happening on the street.
With the risk of protesters breaching the last line of defence, police responded with force. The police are just pushing everyone down the hill with the water cannons. This is the blue march. There's another set of people sat down. Uh, the red march is holding on the bridge. Um, basically, tear gas, bangers, water cannons. Uh, I think the bad move was throwing the stones, but that's just my opinion. Meetings were abandoned early, as delegates were hurriedly evacuated via underground trains, including the head of the World Bank, James Wolfenson. <laughs> nice to all this excitement. Can I ask you how you react to the events of today? Uh, it's uh, interesting. Interesting. Do you think it will force we'll any more changes on the... Uh... Now. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Above ground, activists targeted familiar symbols of capitalism. I think trashing McDonald's is a really stupid idea just because a lot of people love McDonald's as the happy face of capitalism. But I think that any company that will fuck the land over, will fuck people over, will abuse, will violate, does deserve to be hit in their pocket at the end of the day because it's the only way they think. They think of their hands in their wallets and if you can affect that, then more power to it. You can arrest us, you can hire the police in every country to arrest us, to beat us, to put us in prison. But this battle, this struggle, is a struggle of the world's people for our planet and our future. We will never go away. You are finished. You are history. Your organization must go. We will win. <laughs> Protests continued the next day, despite 364 arrests. Of course, the objective of the direct action was to stop uh, the, the bankers from meeting. Um, but the, uh, the action was also very clearly defined as non-violent. 
and I think the, the stone throwing, it didn't help us in any way. You know, it didn't help us at all. It just brought us further from the, uh, from the objective because the stone throwing gave the perfect excuse for the police to charge and to come out onto the demonstrators. I think it's really important for the people watching as well, these protests on, on telly and seeing it in the newspaper, seeing that we are lively, happy people and we're not here, you know, we're not uh, violent anarchists trying to, trying to smash the place up. It's not about that. The media love to portray people as just a violent mob. They never portray us as an intelligent mob, an intelligent mob who are angry about what goes on in the world, angry to meet indigenous people who've had guns put to their heads, who've had their women killed, their children beaten up, their health service taken away, their education fucked up, their homelands completely and utterly trashed. So they've got no trees, they've got no lakes, they've got no rivers, they've got none of their culture left. That, to me, makes me feel bad, it makes me feel passionate. If I was one of these people, I'd be out with a machine gun trying to sort it out, really. That evening, the news came that everyone had been waiting for. We had definite confirmation from the President's office and from the, the Prime Minister, basically, that the meeting is cancelled tomorrow, which is an incredible victory. The only issue now is what the fuck do we do? Our compañeros, our friends, are in jail now, being brutalised. Women have apparently been sexually abused and people are being beaten. So, in my opinion, that's where we should definitely go and try and find them. A prisoner solidarity demonstration resulted in a further 40 arrests. We were linking arms and there was a real good feeling of solidarity. I, was, I wasn't with people that I'd met ever before um, and it was just a really, really strong feeling that we were in this together, um, that this was what we had to do and this was very important. The main tourist area was blocked by demonstrations against the continued arrests and detention of fellow campaigners. It's not over in Prague! There are 400 people at least in the prisons in and around Prague! They are being denied their legal rights! They have no food! They have no medical attention! They haven't spoken to their lawyers! After word spread that the meeting had been abandoned, campaigners partied in Prague's main square. We shut them down in the end. I mean, whatever they, they give for excuse, we won. So maybe the yesterday was not a good day, but today we clean our image. It's clear most of us are not for violence. And it's clear that we are stronger than them, even being so few people. Stay home! The World Bank has got to go! Stay home! Stay home! The World Bank has got to go! Stay home! Stay home! The World Bank has got to go! Stay home! Stay home! The World Bank has got to go! Stay home! Stay home! The great feeling that's come over this week in particular has been at that sense of international solidarity yeah. that we're all thinking and all moving in one direction yeah. to change yeah. the world and people working together marvelously like they've never done before